So there's some Elden Ring DLC news that just happened a couple hours ago, and it is promising. In my opinion, it's just another piece of the puzzle that points towards something imminent, probably a release date trailer. And also, I wanted to talk about how the mainstream gaming journalists seem to be completely confused about the Katakawa financial report and they're saying that we need to sit back down, that nothing's happening, the DLC isn't coming out for a long time, we're not gonna see it anytime soon. So we'll also be taking a look at that heresy afterwards. But first, let's start with the good news. There has been yet another Steam DB update regarding Elden Ring's DLC. Ah, oh, sh. Here we go again. But this time it's different because it's not the actual DLC page that's being updated or Q&A testing like we've seen in the last couple weeks, but it's the Elden Ring digital art book and original soundtrack who has been updated on the 14th of February, which is today, just three hours ago. Now this file has been untouched for two years. They have never modified the digital art book or the original soundtrack as the DLC package in over two years. It has been completely untouched. The reason why it's being modified now, most likely, is because they're adding new content to it. They're adding the DLC bosses, the DLC enemies in the art book, and they're adding the DLC music in the soundtrack. That's the only explanation. Why else would they update it? Now, a lot of people are pessimistic about what's going to happen in two weeks, that maybe the anniversary of Elden Ring is just going to come and go, and there's going to be no announcement, no trailer, nothing, and we're going to have to wait months and months for any news. But I don't think that's the case. I think that all the changes that have been done on SteamDB, on the YouTube playlist, and now regarding the art book and the soundtrack, the Thrustmaster collection, the Pure Arts collection. There's just too many signs to ignore that something huge is about to happen. Now let's talk about the blasphemous journalists. This article is called Elden Ring DLC is not coming anytime soon. Leaks and rumors foiled. And this is the problem with these guys, is that when they set up their character, they're putting all their points into strength and dexterity. They're doing a quality build but they forget to put any points in faith and most importantly in intelligence. Because you have to have a little bit of faith that From Software has our back and you have to be intelligent enough to see that there's a lot of signs that something is going down. But then again, these are gaming journalists, don't expect too much from them. Let's see what they had to say about the leaks and rumors being foiled. So the article reads, rumors have been circulating for a few months now that the highly anticipated DLC for Elden Ring, The Shadow of the Earth Tree was about to drop potentially by the end of this month, which coincidentally is the two year anniversary of the original game's release. Such as the popularity of Elden Ring, a two year hiatus has not damaged the yearning from its fans to get back into the fiendishly difficult Souls-like, to the point where leakers and those who want to be the first to spread the word have been poking around in the inner sanctums of the Steam backend for any trace that an update may be on the way. Plenty of evidence has been uncovered and new files, some even with a DLC in the title appeared to have been uploaded, leading to rife speculation that From Software was about to do what From Software does and just release new content without warning. Several publications, including PC Gamer, have now poured water on the rumor because of a line in a financial report from Katakawa from software's parent company, which said, we are currently working hard on the development of DLC for Elden Ring, but we have not announced a release date at this time. Having said that, Shadow of the Air Tree is definitely on the way. The Steam updates cannot point to anything else at this stage. They would have nothing to do with the recent leak of a mobile Elden Ring being worked on by Tencent, and there previously hadn't been any files uploaded to Steam since the original game's release. Something is going on, but as to yet, it does not seem as though it is going to be any of our business anytime soon. Well, I beg to differ. I guess time will tell indeed. Let's take a look at what PC Gamer had to say. They are basically telling you to sit back down, Tarnish, from software's parent company has poured cold water on an imminent Elden Ring DLC release. Let's take a look. 
Despite a slew of curious Steam updates that have Elden Ring fans vibrating with anticipation for an imminent DLC release, from Software's parent company, Katakawa, has stepped in to crush those dreams. In a FAQ section from a recent financial report, the company gave an update about the development status of Elden Ring's Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. We are currently working hard on the development of DLC for Elden Ring, but we have not announced a release date at this time. Sorry, Elden Ring DLC truthers, that doesn't seem like the kind of thing you would say if you're about to release an expansion on the RPG's two-year anniversary in a few weeks, as some fans have started to believe. It's more likely the kind of statement you would make to assure shareholders that development is going well. I wouldn't expect to see the DLC until sometime in the company's next fiscal year, which begins in April. So I made a poll on the channel a couple days ago, and it seems that the journalist is addressing the 9% of us that believe that there will be a shadow drop of the Earth Tree on the two year anniversary. I don't believe it's going to be the case. Would it be amazing? Of course, it would be fantastic. It would completely break the internet. There would be riots everywhere of outrage, fireworks, but I don't know if it's going to happen. What is more likely to happen is a trailer with a release date. And some people, 31%, have not invested enough points in faith, or you have been done wrong too many times in the past by Jeff Keighley and Jeff Grubb and disappointing game shows with no Elden Ring news. If that's the case, I understand. But let's take a look at what's actually said in the report word for word, because I think a lot of this can be interpreted many different ways. So it reads in the future outlook, From Software will further step up efforts to improve profitability in the medium to long term. Various measures are currently in progress for Elden Ring, including the development of major DLC to maximize long-term value. We are also making progress considering schemes to expand the scope of our own publishing. And when they're talking about major measures, they're talking about the Elden Ring mobile game that has been leaked recently, that apparently Tencent is working on it, and Tencent has purchased a small portion of From Software, and they're going to try to adapt Elden Ring into a mobile game. Now, personally, I don't think it's a good idea for a couple of reasons. Mobile games is all about microtransactions and kind of like dirty monetization, and From Software is known to do the complete opposite. As well, the combat might be a little bit too intricate for something to play on a cell phone. So a pay to win Elden Ring game with microtransactions doesn't sound like fun to me, but maybe some people might like it. But what's interesting here is that it says future outlook. Now, some people, including the gaming journalists, were like, oh, well, there it is. It's not coming anytime soon because it says future outlook. But future outlook could mean that they're going to be expecting to make a lot of money from this for a long time. We already agreed that it's very unlikely that the Elden Ring DLC releases this month, but for example, it could still release in two to three months and it would still qualify in that future outlook category. So in the FAQ section, it says, what is the development status of DLC for Elden Ring and when will it be released? And the answer is, we are currently working hard on the development of DLC for Elden Ring, but we have not announced a release date at this time. And it seems like the gaming journalists are running with this idea and they're saying sit back down tarnish it's not happening chill out but they're reading too much into it all it says is that the development is ongoing and that there is no release date at this time doesn't mean that there won't be a release date in three weeks it just means that at the time of publishing the report there is no release date they're reading into it way too much and if they were about to announce it, they wouldn't want to spoil the surprise by hinting to it in a FAQ. They want to be as quiet as possible, and when the time is right, drop the bomb of information with a trailer, release date, and so on, which is exactly how they did it when they showed the gameplay trailer for Elden Ring after two years of silence. The situation is pretty much identical. They were extremely quiet about it, and at the end of Summer Game Fest, boom, they dropped the dynamite. And that trailer was hype. 
Anyways, we won't have to wait that much longer to see if From Software has anything ready for us. In 11 days, it's going to be the two year anniversary of Elden Ring. We all think that's when a trailer will be shown. If nothing is shown and they just say a tweet like, hey, thank you for playing Elden Ring, it would be crushing. It would be extremely disappointing, but I highly doubt it's going to happen. Hopefully it doesn't. If it does, I'll make a video. It'll be kind of like a funeral, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do you have faith that something will drop in 11 days? Please let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be updated on everything from software when it comes to leaks, rumors, news, or patch updates, this is the place to be. Now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.